Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cars Desire YouTube channel. Now this week is a bit of a special car we've got testing as it's our first ever electric car that we've tested. And it isn't a half bad one to start with, I think you'll agree, as this is the Algae e-tron Sportback in the S guys, so that is the powerful one. I mean all electric cars have got a lot of poke but this being the S it's got 503 PS. So I'm going to talk about what it's been like to live with over a week and give you all the things you need to know about it in this video. So subscribe, like and enjoy the video. So as I said in the introduction, this is the Sportback model. So what that means is that you get a little bit chopped off the roof and it tapers down into a really nice sporty and squat looking rear end. And this being the more the powerful S version, it gets extended wheel arch liners, which do look, make it look very powerful with a very important presence on the road. Now this particular color we've got here, if I can say it correctly, is the Catalonia Red Metallic. Now to my eyes it looks a bit um, more orangey but then I suppose I suppose it is red in reality and I do think it suits the car very well it gives it a futuristic but it's it's a futuristic looking color but it also suits the car great and with the color combination of the silver mirror caps and the 21 inch wheels on this particular model really do set the car off well now round the back of the Audi e-tron Sportback S this light bar is becoming a bit of a trademark of Audi and it really does set the, set the car off well. And when you unlock and unlock, unlock and lock the car, um, the indicators in this particular model do the nice scrolling uh, dance, which is really cool. And this particular car with the optional extra can actually project images through the front headlights onto walls. Now how cool is that? Now, of course, being the S model, it's got some sportier bumpers, that same silver accents which I think really enhances and pulls out uh, the Catalonia red colour. Now of course you've got the e-tron S badging which is sh shows people that this is the fast one you've got here um, and it even reminds you that it's an S on the back of the key there which I think is a nice touch. Now the key itself feels very nice and expensive. Now of course for a car this particular one being £96,000 you would expect that however you'll be surprised with some manufacturers how, make, how cheap they are making their keys so it's nice to see that this feels premium. Now of course being a UK spec car uh, the latest uh, number plate system uh, is showing a green version if it's an electric car like this is too so that does make people know that you're driving a zero emission electric car. Now there's a couple of ways you can open the boot electric of course there's the hands underneath here or the boot button here, you've got to press twice, like so. Now I'm super impressed with the overall capacity in here because despite the relatively low and sporty roof line, you've got an excellent wide and flat and un unobstructed load bay. And there's plenty of tie down hooks. And it's quite interesting actually, because part of the parcel shelf is in, in integrated up here to stop people looking in. But that actually makes it easier to load the car as there's less clutter in the way. Now what's also very impre impressive is because there's no e exhaust system because it's electric you have extra storage. I mean how impressive is that? If, you, if you've got a really tall plant from the garden centre say you put it in there and you'll be able to load it in despite the low roof line. Now this practicality can be enhanced further with the folding down of the seats. The seats fold down all individually and I'll display that now. So you just pull the, little, pull the lever in there and it's the same for this side and just reach across. Now if you want to put this centre seat down individually what you've got to do is put the armrest down and there's a little switch just behind there and there you are. 20, 20, 40, 40. Split seats and there you go, it's almost completely flat. So you take this past shelf out and that's a cavernous load space in here. Now, of course, being the Sportback model, you can only load it to here, but then the rest of it, you're free to put whatever you want in. And I think that's very impressive for a car that looks as stylish as it is. So now, of course, as this is a fully electric Audi, there is no engine under the bonnet, of course. 
Now, there's not cavernous amounts of space to store under here. Now, to open it, there's a little catch here, just like a conventional bonnet, and it's very conveniently pushed up by its gas struts, which makes life so much easier. Now, of course, you can see a limited amount of the electronics, but the majority of it is under the bottom of the car to give it that low centre of gravity. Now, just under this cover, you've got the perfect sp spot um, to st store your charging ports, all in this premium looking Audi bag, which has also got a, a carry handle, if you did want to carry it around for some reason. Um, and of course, you've got all the different types of adapters that you would possibly need. And this particular is sealed as well to stop all the rainwater getting in. Now, this car still does need to be serviced as of course they still got to check under under the overall condition of the car. So that happens every two years or 19,000 miles, depending which comes first. So that does reduce your ownership costs considerably. Now inside the interior itself is a very te technological affair with flooded with light with this optional power narrow like sunroof. Now if I switch the ignition on, It turns on with this nice animation. Which welcomes you to the two central infotainment displays, which have crystal clear graphics and offer a really great user experience. Now the bottom one in particular has a really unique feature, which many cars do not have, as it offers tactic feedback to when you press a button. So therefore, if you're trying to adjust your climate control on the move, you press the button and it gives you that feedback in response, which of course, in a safety point of view, is excellent. The top screen, has an excellent processor which manages to keep up efficiently with your demands. Now of course this luxurious electric Audi comes with the brand's renowned Audi virtual cockpit and it really does offer the driver an excellent enhanced driving experience with everything you could need at your fingertips. The, the display is also customizable too. Now in terms of storage this central cubby here is very unique and it's all open although you can uh, cover that cup holder there with that little cover so that allows you to put relatively big drinks in here without blocking your arm movements which is great and there's also a wireless charging pad here and a small storage cubby here here in the center and the glove box is a pretty decent size actually and it does go quite a nice way back and look at that nice little pen holder there it's a very nice very nice door and the door bins are a great size as well so then let's have a look in the back of it e-tron s walkback and well it's a lovely place to be surprise surprise the lovely balcona leather seats continue back here with this quilt like centerpiece it really does set the whole interior off with a really premium and special feeling look now the the doors have got the same design here with this, the futuristic door handle, the silver uh, chrome on the speakers for the optional bank Olufsen stereo. And in the center here, you've got um, the climate control air vents, which is great. There isn't that you can't actually change the temperature yourself on this particular model. However, that's not too much of a big deal. And you've got two more USB-C charging points there couple of storage nets in the back now the only negative I can find with the back seats is the fact that it looks like this is cup holders and I did spend a very long time trying to open it because it looks like there's an opening however this particular car doesn't have it you've actually got to pay optional extra to get those center center cup rear cup holders fitted and I think that is pretty stingy con considering the fact this car costs 87,000 pounds without any options but the door bin's absolutely huge, so we'll let it off for that. The only other slight potential concern is the center seat headroom, as because there's no cutout here in the middle, it does make it a little bit tight. However, I'm about six foot tall, and I'm just about okay. But the outer seat's absolutely fine. Now, of course, this wouldn't be an electric car review without me talking about the charging and the range of this car. Now, what's quite unique is the fact that this car's got two charging ports, one on this side and one on the other side. 
Now they do have different charging ports at each of them, so do bear that in mind about where you pull up. So to open this side of the car, you just press that little button there and it opens very premiumly and gracefully. And of course you've got the two sockets here, depending on which one you need. Now Audi claims just over 220 miles on a full charge. And in, in reality, that's not too far off the truth. As in our hands on a full charge, it's been telling us about 201 miles, which isn't too bad. So as long as you make sure that you're planning those service station stops in the motorway, you will find it easy to adapt to life with an EV. In terms of the power output, of course, with an S badge on the bonnet, you'd expect some proper impressive stats. Now this Audi e-tron sportback does not disappoint in this S guys as it produces 503 ps and over 900 newton meters of torque at its peak boost output and that is absolutely incredible you put your foot down and, and it gives you that instant confidence to do whatever fast maneuver you may wish to desire and this car can even do not to 62 miles per hour in as fast as 4.5 seconds now that's some seriously impressive stats so then as this has been our first electric car to test, I've been super impressed with this um, Audi e-tron Sportback S as it does everything that you possibly want to with the added sportiness from this powerful electric powertrain. And it's a very usable car on a day-to-day -day basis as well with excellent luxurious uh, features. The practicality isn't affected too much by that Sportback styling. It really is an excellent all-round car. Now I'd say if you've got that, this amount of money to spend and you want a fully electric car, there really isn't anything else like it on the market at the moment. So go to the Audi dealership and take a look. And on that note, thank you for watching and ensure you're subscribed so you don't miss the latest content that's coming up.